We brought in six astrology skeptics to react to their horoscopes and their astrology to see if we can change their minds. This is... So Sabrina, how do you feel about astrology? Would you say that you're oh pretty skeptical? God. I knew you guys were going to give me this one. <laughs> I am so skeptical. I don't believe in it at all. There's no way that the time that I was born influences every action I'll take for the rest of my life. Mm, not a chance. So today we're gonna to be showing you a few elements from your horoscope, starting with your birth chart. All the signs, but Sagittarius is here twice. Okay, these are like your, your, your planets or something. Signs on the left, and then there are signs in the middle, and numbers on the right. And I don't really know how they match up, but yeah. I'm sure that they do. I honestly don't even know what I'm looking at. I know I'm a Sagittarius. Is this for me? Because I was like, wait a second, sun is Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. Oh. So basically this more or less depicts what the sky looked like at the moment you were born. Oh, that's pretty cool. Me, personally? This is mine? <sighs> wow. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I was wondering when you guys asked what time I was born, I was like, I have to look at my little shoe that I have with the time. So let's talk a little bit more about what this means here. Okay, the sun determines your ego identity and your role in life. I don't think the time that I was born determines my role in life. You're always generous. Relativism allows you to see both sides of every situation, though this may sometimes come off um, as indecisive or insecure. Wow, okay. <laughs> that, that hit hard. It's your fifth house. This is like Hogwarts, meaning that you feel the need to distinguish yourself from others in, through romance, self-expression, creativity, and pleasure. This is your sun sign, which is based on the position of the sun at your birth. And it's probably the sign that you're most familiar with. Like you probably knew you were a Sagittarius. Yes. So what do you think? Does this seem to accurately describe you at all? I mean, it probably describes most people. Like, who's not somewhat curious, restless, and independent? I mean, yeah, all those things I guess I am. Most of it is pretty on the point. They're like just very general things, you know? Like, I feel like a lot of people carry a lot on their shoulders, and like, I'd hope that most people fight for the underdog. You know, that seems like a, a good character trait to have. So far, I don't feel like it's like personal yet, you know? It's like casting a net. You cast this net out that has huge buzzwords for terms that describe the vast majority of people. And if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, they're like, oh, I guess it, the I'm just an outlier in this situation. This speaks some truth, but I also think this could speak some truth to, to someone who isn't a Sagittarius. Moon in Scorpio. The moon rules your emotions, mood, and feelings. Oh, this is getting juicy now. Moon in Aquarius. So I'm an Aquarius in the moon sign? Oh, interesting. The moon rules your emotions, moods, and feelings. Uh, this is the sign you most likely think think of yourself as? I don't think, I didn't even know I was a Scorpio. Your moon is in Pisces, meaning your emotional self is empathetic, dreamy, sensitive, and gentle. Oh. Your emotional self is analytical, responsible, and pacifying. I don't know, I feel like pacifying sounds like a, like a kind of a diss, but okay. It's that net, it's like you're passionate. Everybody's passionate. You have trouble opening up and letting other people in. Uh, oh, that that pegged me right on the head really quick. <laughs> it is in your fourth house, meaning you find security and safety through your home and family. Wow, that last part. I'm like tearing up because that last part is so true. It's in your 10th house, meaning you find security and safety through success and responsibility. Oh, there's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Like, I'll find security and safety through success and I guess growing responsibility. Um, but in terms of like my emotional self is intuitive, observant, detached, and rational, I wouldn't say I'm like detached. I feel like I'm a very laid back person when it comes to emotions, but maybe it is because I, I suppress my feelings. Uh, I don't let, let things out, but I do rely on my friends and like people who I'm close to a lot. I think they're very important people in my life. I feel like everyone at some points in their life or in different aspects of their lives are a bundle of nerves and self-sacrificing um, sure. and nitpicky. Again, it's like super vague, so I feel like anyone can relate to that. Of course, every single person is reluctant to open up their very, very personal private life because every single person wears a mask of some sort. You have all these different masks that you wear and you never really show people your true face. 
Whoa, look at what it says. It says the mask, that's crazy, dude. I was just talking about that. Ascendant in Cancer. Your ascendant is the mask you, you present to people. You come across as independent, energetic, and direct. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you come across as gentle, intuitive, and warm, though some may regard this as overly emotional or sensitive to criticism. This is mean. I, I don't think anything I just read was nice. I thought this was supposed to make people like, people, like feel better. You may seem a bit too attached to work details and the pursuit of perfection, <laughs> which sometimes makes you a bit boring. Uh... That's dead on. Your intense and tenacious drive comes off as intimidating and powerful, if not malicious or aggressive. <laughs> it's a little off. <laughs> I'm learning so much. See, this is this is helping. I, I, I didn't know any of this before. It was I just thought I was Aquarius. So I didn't know all this other stuff. <laughs> it's just frustrating because it kind of like uses scientific terms. It kind of like uses science, but it's like not. So I don't know, it's just, it's confusing and strange. I will say that you're being very analytical of this, which is one of the things that it told you you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't be analytical or manipulative or power hungry or gentle and warm and intuitive. That covers everyone. Now let's take a look at something that you've probably heard of. This is your horoscope for today. Oh, Jesus. My horoscope for today? <laughs> oh man, I've never actually read one of these. It's so, this is gonna be interesting. This is the stuff I'm just like, bull What's that one app that is like all horoscope? Is it, huh? CoStar, bull. That's, it's like, it'll give you a notification and it says, you're ready for change. Every person is, what does that mean? Trouble with routine and self. Okay, we are in quarantine. Okay, but we're in quarantine. Everyone's in quarantine. Like, that can, see, that can be applied at everyone. You're claustrophobic. That is so true, guys. Like, you don't understand. At concerts, I get, like, freaked out. But just for today, oh, haha. -ha, I'm a claustrophobic all the time, so <laughs> wrong. You are opening yourself up to get out of your rut. Are you ready to play? Plan a new outfit. <laughs> I am ready to get myself out of the rut, bro. Like, I'm sure everyone wants to get themselves out of the house, and I'm, I'm so ready. You're bored and ready for change, but just for today. Ah! That's so vague and inspecific. You feel wild right now. Give yourself permission to float your own boat. Wow, this is kind of me up. Okay, I'm, okay. <laughs> Make love to everything. Power of words, wow. Finish what you start. It's a big step for you who's afraid of failure and rejection. Who isn't? I'm sorry, have you met a single person who's not terrified of being rejected. This sounds especially kind of rude because I'm applying to jobs right now and things telling me that the world will stop my own growth for me sounds very <laughs> Your work this month is to understand the difference between you demanding too much of your body and breaking it. When you stunt your own growth, you undermine yourself. Practice reminding yourself that you are whole. You can't change a past that has already happened. You can't control a future that is completely unknown that leaves the present right now. Okay, that's just that's not real because that's just COVID-19. I like this. <laughs> I don't know if I liked it just because it hyped me up or if it was like spot on, but I feel like this in general really pulled everything together that I liked from like the previous ones and kind of put it all together. I have friends who are very solid. Um, they're really, really into astrology and I let them like enjoy it. And I even like enjoy it sometimes too like it can be interesting but it's just like to me i never will actually believe it it's not hurting anyone if you want to check your horoscope and feel like the world is stunning your own, your own growth like you came here today a skeptic but we are curious after seeing what these stars have to say about you are you now a believer no <laughs> i'm not a believer also who writes these things no <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I think I'm even more of a skeptic than I was before. I just, I feel like insulted and alienated. I'm definitely not going to be checking my horoscope anytime soon. I wouldn't say that I'm a believer, but you know, if I was like Leonardo DiCaprio right now, like before it had my curiosity and like now it has my attention. If someone were to show me like, hey, come check this thing out. I would be like, okay, yeah, show me, try and convince me, I'm open to it. But for the most part, I don't really believe it at all. You're saying these things that are incredibly vague that can apply to the vast majority of people. So obviously it works. 
I'm still a skeptic in astrology. It's like believing in ghosts. Like I, I've never seen one, so maybe not, but maybe there'll be more proof throughout this horoscope journey that I might take that I might be on. Please watching this episode. The stars are telling me you should like this episode. What are your thoughts on astrology? Let us know down in the comments. We'd love to know. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. So we didn't change anybody's mind in this episode, but what other skeptics should we put to the test? Let us know down in the comments. Bye guys.